File structure and file management can be a big topic inside SOLIDWORKS. You can deal with different types of files, how they interact with each other, or how they feed into different files. The root idea is that we have three main file types, parts, assemblies, and drawings. Let's click over onto this graphic and take a look at how these are all structured. We've got parts that feed into assemblies, parts or assemblies that feed into drawings. Drawings are there, and we can get updates from the parts and assemblies. That's that uh, tri-directional associativity that we've got. They're all linked. We make a change to a part, it can update the assembly. We make a change to the drawing, it can actually update the part or assembly. We've got other features like library features and design tables, design binders, that all can feed into parts or be embedded into parts. Other types of parts that can be made off of regular parts, split parts, mirrored parts, parts that can be designed in context of the assembly. It's that associativity that gives us the power of design and being able to update things on the fly and have everything else update automatically. So let's take a look at the references here. I'm going to come back over to SOLIDWORKS and let's open up, let's say, this drawing. But we're going to click on it and not actually open it all the way. And let's look at the references. Here we can see that the assembly feeds into the drawing. Okay. Let's go over to the assembly and see the references there. Now we can see the parts and sub-assemblies that feed into that top-level assembly and where they're all coming from. So that's one way to see kind of the structure of you know, the references in the tree. Let's look at a different tool. There's a tool that SOLIDWORKS has called Treehouse. We'll take a deeper look into this a little bit later on. But I can actually drag in an existing kind of view of an assembly. And it's going to give us you know, all these components kind of feed up into the top calculator assembly. We've got the circuitry sub-assembly with all the different parts there. Here we can see that there are six different instances of the screw. We can come in and, and get different custom properties, document properties for the part. See that, hey, the description is, th is 3D printed. But this is a nice, you know, top-level view of the structure of our assembly. Okay. So sometimes that's kind of handy to, to look at. Let's go back over to SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to hit the R key. That's for recent documents. It's very handy. We can actually come in and click on this little arrow here in the bottom right-hand corner. Expand this. Look at the references there. Again, it's the same type thing. Uh, we can open up that component and choose all kinds of different ways to open that file from here. Actually click on it and have it come up in our screen. We've got that same file structure over here on the left side in the property manager, the sub-assembly for the circuitry, all the different components that feed into that. Okay, so through the next few clips, we're going to take a look at the structure a little bit more, how to control it. We can see different signs from the feature manager here. The little right-facing arrow is showing me that this flip cover is actually designed in context of the assembly. The main shell looks like it's designed in context. It's got the same arrow, but it's got a letter X next to it. So we'll see what that is telling us. Okay, so the references are very handy. And the more you know about how your parts and assemblies are put together, the better off you're going to be.